Well, this starts National Cybersecurity Awareness Month, and we have a really interesting story. Our guest here, Gary Malevsky, is with the company Snoopwall. Uh, Gary, thanks for being here. It's an interesting and alarming story that you have about this study. I think this is bigger than Ebola right now because 500 million people are infected and they don't know it. But it's not them, it's their smartphones. So tell me the breakdown. How does this happen? So let me give you an example. If you went to the hardware store, you'd buy a flashlight and you'd turn it on and you'd, you'd use it to find your car keys at night or to do some work. We've all installed a flashlight app on our phones. This is the app that you put on and it just goes up. It's a flashlight. Exactly. And instead of being a normal flashlight, when you hit the on button, this flashlight app is kind of like a real flashlight from the hardware store, except it was made by Mr. Gadget. And it opens up and it says, Brett, can I have your name, address, credit cards, bank account information, family photos, videos, where you're located right now, and all your friends and contacts, and can I send that out over this little satellite dish attached to the flashlight? You probably wouldn't buy that flashlight, and you wouldn't hit the on switch. But that's what's happening? That's what's happening. The top 10 flashlight apps today that you can download from the Google Play Store are all malware. They're malicious, they're spying, they're snooping, and they're stealing. So where does that information go? What happens to it? So I've been tracking down where it goes and I've found three countries so far. China, India, and Russia. And they use it for various purposes, I guess? They use it uh, pretty much, it seems, for criminal purposes, but if a nation state wants to collect a lot of information on Americans, this is a great way to do it because everybody installs a flashlight app. So, so what do you tell people? Don't install flashlight apps, period? You, in some cases, you actually have to not only uninstall it, but you have to factory reset your phone because they install Trojans that when you uninstall some of these flashlight apps, the Trojans are still installed waiting to run and operate in the background while you're doing important things like mobile banking or reading your contacts list and things like that. That's amazing. Is that, um, is th this is a new kind of finding. It's a new finding. So at Snoopwall, I had my team do a vulnerability assessment of the top 10 flashlight apps, and we created a threat report, which we put on our website, that shows that because this is the most downloaded app, I was always wondering why things were happening in an odd way on my phone, where my GPS was being activated and my contact list. So I had my team look into it, and we discovered this. This is brand new information. Top 10 flashlight apps, half a billion downloads, all acting in a very malicious way. So if you're telling somebody now, what would you tell them to do? Drop that, that app and restart your phone? Drop the app, uh, go back to where you bought your phone and ask them for help on a factory reset. Back up your contacts before you do a factory reset. You know, back up just core information that's important to you, maybe some family photos and your contacts list. And then really just go for a factory reset, which wipes all the hidden data areas where the malicious Trojans are getting installed. Now, are you hearing anecdotally that it's that this is happening? People saying there's something weirds going on, or I mean, obviously you did your own investigation, but um, are people reporting it? People reported this to the FTC, and the number two flashlight app was sued by the FTC, and they just recently settled. They had 50 million downloads at the time, and brightest flashlight, which most of us have on our smartphones, had to in the settlement agree to put up a privacy policy before you run their app. The privacy policy, Brett, is 25 pages of legally saying, yes, we spy on you, yes, we geolocate you, yes, we want your mobile data off your phone. We want all this info, accept or don't run our app. And most people don't read it and they hit accept. That was their settlement with the FTC. So you just scroll down as many people do and through all of the legalese and, and people push accept. You don't even have to scroll. The buttons are right there on the, on the front page of the new version of Brightest Flashlight app. And they're up to 100 million downloads now. How big a deal is cybersecurity now? We hear about it, we do stories about it, but how big a deal is this for our culture as we get more and more people with phones, smartphones, and, and using their computers? I'm worried about kids, teenagers, families that, you know, you give your kid an iPad or a, a droid tablet and you let them play and they install apps that do these things, that geolocate your children. And if they're online predators or cyber criminals, they're going to get at our families because this is the back door into our homes. 
and even into our businesses because we've installed malware and not known about it. So you would recommend going to the hardware store and getting the, the flashlight instead of actually getting the app? Get a real flashlight or look for a flashlight app that's under 100 kilobytes because the ones that spy on you, it tells you their file size, they're 1.2 megabytes to 5 megabytes. Those are big files to just turn the light on and off. So if you find a really, really tiny flashlight app, a privacy flashlight, you'll be safe. Wow, that is unbelievable news and thank you for coming in. Again, the website? Snoopwall.com. Okay. Gary, thanks a lot. Brett, thank you.